today I'm going to show you how I made this pop-up flower card. It is really cute. And then it has a band that you can set on, you can put on it that will make it stay up like that. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. I think it turned out really cute and it's pretty easy to make. The hardest part is just getting all the cutting done and then it fits into a regular envelope and it fits pretty flat. So I'm kind of excited about it. This is a regular envelope and I found this tutorial on Split Coast Crafters or sorry, Split Coast Stampers. If you guys aren't a member of that, you might consider signing up. I'm trying to find out who the actual person was that posted it. And let me see if I can find it. The designer, nope. Chris Sloger, S-L-O-G-A-R. So this is not at all my idea or my I'm just showing you what she already showed us, but I really liked it and I thought that maybe my viewers would like to see it. And I needed to make another one. I'm going to give this one to Katie and I'm going to send one to David's mom and dad. So what you need is you will need two pieces of four by four cardstock and one can be uh, patterned and one can be plain. These are going to sit on top of each other as the base and it's just to make it a little bit thicker and a little bit sturdier to hold the pop-up. I'm going to go ahead and glue my designer card, my designer paper to the cardstock base. So again, these are four by four. And I will try to put the dimensions below I, if I forget. I'm sorry. So I will leave this alone for now, but I will eventually score this in the middle, but I'm just going to leave it alone now and let the glue dry. I'm going to leave my glue open and over here to the side for a minute. And then you also need a piece of, for the band, which is just this, you need a piece of um, two and three, no, sorry one by nine inches. So this is one by nine inches and I'm going to score this at two and three eighths. And then also at six and a half. Which would be two and a half inches in, I believe six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, yes. So this is one by nine scored at six and a half and two and three eighths. So that's the band. And to do the band, we're just going to fold both of these in and I'm going to burnish the edges. And I'm going to take my glue and glue the inside of one of the sides and glue the outside of the other side and then I can whoops stick those together like so so it's going to make a little band so that's going to go on there and then I need <laughs> I'm falling apart here guys I need the uh, uh, what is this? The flower car. This is the pot. <laughs> uh, so let's see. The pot needs to be one and three quarters by seven and a half. So that's what this one is already cut at. One and three quarters by seven and a half. And I'm going to score this at two inches and at five and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and fold those in and burnish those edges. And then the rim of the pot, you want a piece that is one half inch by eight inches. And I'm scoring this at two and an eighth.
and five and seven eighths. And again, you're going to want to burnish those edges. So all of those are folded. Um, I don't think this is needed. I think that was an extra piece. I do need two pieces of window uh, paper, or this is acetate. So that's what these are. And these are cut at one half inch each. One is five and a half inches long and one is six and a half inches long. The one that's five and a half inches long, you want to score in the middle and you're going to put score tape on the outside of both of those ends. So I went ahead and put my score tape down, but I'm just going to score this in the middle or fold it in the middle and try to burnish it the best that I can. So I have score tape that's on the outside here and on the outside here. So both sides have score tape on them. And then on this one, which is the six and a half by one half inch, I want to score this at one and three quarters inch. And four and three quarters inch. One and three quarters and four and three quarters. And this one is just going to get folded on itself. So I want both ends to be able to reach and have tape on them. That score did not work very well. Okay, here I can see this one. And I'm going to burnish that. Burnish that. So I have tape on the ends of the long piece. I have one piece of tape that faces me and one piece of tape on the other end that faces away so that when I close them together they will have tape holding both of the ends together. So there's no tape on the outside at all. It's just all holding the ends together. So you can go ahead and put this together. These window ones are a little bit harder to work with just because you can't see them when you have them. So I try to get those worked on and I try to put some tape on them quickly just because I know that I will lose them if I can't find them. I mean, it's hard to see them, they're clear. So I'm gonna put that down here and that down here. So those are, this one is ready to go with it's folded and the other one still has the tape uh, paper on the back. All right, so I have my, this. Oh, and I do need one more piece of paper. I lied. I need one that is scored, or that is cut at a half of an inch by four inches. And this one I'm going to score at one inch two inches and three inches. So it's four inches and it's divided, it's scored at every inch. And for this one, I need to fold the ends in and then I need to fold the middle one in. So it's half and half. This is going to hold the pot to the card. So in order to make the card, I want to first put a corner rounder on the edges of the card just to make it look a little bit more complete, I guess. And then I'm going to score the card at two inches, and it doesn't matter which side you score it on, but 
you just, because it's a four by four sheet, so it's just one side you score it on. And it's easiest, from what I understand, to do it when you have them taped together or glued together already. I haven't tried it the other way, so. So now this becomes our base for the pot. And to hold the pot, we're going to use this little thing. So if you want to, you can measure two inches in and put this right in the center, but I am not that particular. So I am going to put glue on one end of my, or one middle part portion, so there's four portions. So on portion two of the little holder, and I'm just going to put this, eyeball it down into the middle, and then I'm gonna fold it down, make sure that I like where that's positioned. And then I'm going to put glue on position number three. So again, if you have four positions, the two middle positions are the ones that are gonna glue on them. And then while the glue is still drying, I'm gonna open it up and make sure that I can open it all the way. And then close it all the way. You might have to play with it just a little bit and that's okay. That's why I would suggest using glue and not something else um, because Sometimes you don't get your fold just right and you need this card to be able to open all the way to show the cute flower pot. So then these two flaps should still be able to flap open and closed. So now you take the flower pot and you want to take your bone folder and just kind of rub the inside of the flower pot outward so that it kind of understands that it's going to be moving in a circle. You just have to kind of change the fibers and you do it also to the rim. Now you can use glue or glue dots or, or um, sticky tape or whatever you want to use. I'm just using glue. I'm going to put glue on the inside of one of these, or the outside of one of these, and then the inside of the other flap, so that I know that when these two go together, they are glued down in both directions. Get some glue sticking out. So just like that, and it forms just a little oval. I'm gonna do the same thing with the pot. So I have glue on the outside of one of them and the inside of the other flap. And I'm just going to fold them together. And again, it makes an oval. Now I'm going to take this and put glue on, let's say position number one of the four And I'm going to go ahead and put it on position number four. So the last two flaps you need to put glue on. And then you open this up and you put it on one side gets glue. And then the other side will get glue, but you need to fold it up. Oops. I didn't put it on the inside of the green. I need to put it on the inside of the green. So what you're doing is you're making it so that the pink flaps are on the inside of the pot. Oh, I kind of messed that up. And that's supposed to be my front, so I've got to be careful. I need to put a sticker or a gemstone or something on there to cover that up. Because I messed it up when I put the thing on the wrong side. Oops. That's okay. Let's see. Well, I'll worry about that in a minute. And then I'm going to take my rim and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put a, a sticky pop dot on one side and take the tape off. And then I'm going to put this around 
and I have it closed right now just to make sure that it's centered and that it's straight. So you don't want to stick it down yet until you have it where you want it. And then once you do, you just stick it down in the middle. And there's a little pop dot then that's holding that rim up. And I'm going to take another pop dot and put it on the other side. And go ahead and take the tape off of that. And then go ahead and put that down. So now my pot has a little rim to it. And I know what I can put on the front there. Where I messed up. I'm going to add a cute little butterfly. And this has dimension on it. And I don't really want any more dimension. So I'm taking the pop dot off of that. And I'm just going to glue my little butterfly. Because it already has dimension. It's a 3D butterfly. I'm going to put that where my little mess up is. So that you can't really tell that there was a mess up there in the first place. Oh, it's cute too. I'll have to do that to the other card too. So we're almost done, honestly. You take the piece of acetate that you've already put the things on but you haven't done anything else with. You're going to take, actually just take both pieces of acetate. And you want either glue dots, which I thought I had out. Yes, I do. You want glue dots or sticky tape, the like the really sticky sticky tape. You want something that's really sticky. And I'm going to use glue dots. And I'm going to put one on the inside of the half folded acetate. So there's one right there on the inside. And I'm going to take my acetate that's already in an oval and I'm going to place that on the glue dot crooked. So it's not straight, it's not perfectly perpendicular, it's just a little crooked, which I think makes it look a little more authentic. Not that this looks real anyway, but you know what I'm saying. And then I'm going to put another glue dot on the opposite side of the acetate and then close my um, half, my, my shorter piece of acetate in half and put the, so there's the, the larger piece of acetate that we made into an oval is on the inside of the V shaped acetate and I have it holding on there with glue dots. And then I'm going to take the tape off of my sticky tape I'll take the paper off of my sticky tape. So <clears throat> now it's really sticky and ready to be stuck into the pot. So I'm going to hold the folded edge and I'm just going to put this down in the pot and close the pot right kind of in the middle of this. So now I have what looks like a little cross on the inside of my pot. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then what I want to do is I want to take a piece of green and just put it, and this is cut it a half of an inch, and then you can make it as long or as short as you feel like you need. I'm going to put it on this front piece of acetate. So I only have two pieces of acetate, or two, uh, one piece of the green to put on one side of the acetate. The other side is going to be the back. So I'm just going to use a strip of my double-sided tape. Put that down on here. And then I'm just going to stick this on the acetate. Just like that. And if it sticks up higher than the acetate does, you can cut some off if you want to. It's really not a big deal. It's going to be covered up with my flour. And then what I did is I had die cuts to cut out some flowers, and I wanted two of each size, so I did two big, two medium, and two small die cuts. And then I also did two big, two medium, and two small circles for the insides. 
and then I cut out some leaves too. So what I'm going to do first, which I didn't do last time, but I think that this is going to be better, I'm going to go ahead and place the little middle pieces in the flower where I want them. So I cut pink, purple, and blue flowers and pink, purple, and blue middles, being sure not to put the same color middle as I did flower, if that makes sense. I didn't want a small flower and a, a small purple flower and a small purple inside. I wanted a different color. There's pink for my blue. But now I don't know where my other little blue is. I'm gonna have to look a second over here. And you could use something else if you wanted to. Here it is. If you wanted to use um, gemstones or something like that. And I thought about it, but I decided against it just because it makes the card stick up even further. And these are going in the mail, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't get them. I had a little string that I wanted to cut off, so I did that while I saw it. So I thought these middles were really cute. And then what I'm going to do is take some of the leaves and just put them on the flowers already. I just think it's going to make it a little bit easier than what I did the last time. So I'll let you know if it's not, but I'm just going to take the leaves and put one on side each of the flowers. So there's that one. And I did this to the front of the flower. <clears throat> or to the flower that I want in the front, I guess I should say. One. Okay, and then you want to take your envelope and the three flowers that you have for the front, have those ready, put your card in the envelope or on the envelope so that you'll know how high you want the flowers to go. I don't want the flower to stick up there because I won't be able to put it in the envelope. I want the flower to fit in the envelope, so I'm going to have to lower it down to at least there, just so that it fits nicely into the envelope. So I want to put acetate on the, or uh, glue dots on the actual acetate and not on the flower because I don't know what part of the flower is going to hit the acetate. So I think I'm done with my glue now, so I'm just going to put my little lid on. I'm going to take a glue dot, and I'm starting with the big middle flower. And again, I'm lining up my card in the envelope, putting this wherever it will fit, make sure that it stays in the card. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll take the blue one and the purple one and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take a piece of glue dot, put it on my acetate where I know I want a flower, and I'm just doing it to both sides at the same time. And then it doesn't matter which side you put them on. It doesn't matter if you do three all the same size. However you want to do it is perfectly fine. Okay, I think that's pretty cute. Then I'll turn it around. And what you can do for this one is use the color below it to match it up. So that should be pretty easy to do. The only thing I did differently on this side is that I glued some of the flower together as well. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm taking my glue dots and putting them down on the acetate. And then I took one pop dot and put it up on the top of the flower. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Then I'll take my pink flower and line that up first with the other flower behind it. That's what I'm talking about. And then just push it down where I have it so it's glued 
onto the acetate and it's stuck together up here at the top. And if you want to do that to these sides too, you could use just a regular glue. I think I'm going to just do one of the petals on each side. And I'm just going to use regular glue. Thought I might be done with the glue, but I was not. Okay, so then I'm going to take my blue flower and tuck it in and line it up with the blue flower below it and then hold it where I have it glued. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, tuck it in, put it down and hold it where I have it glued. And then when I open it up, it should pop open. And then this band is used to just hold the card open like that. Isn't that adorable? It is so cute. And what I did on the other band was I wrote on here, oh, this is the band. I wrote on here, this band slips so that they'll know what it's for. Slips over the open card. That way if somebody wanted to display it or something, they sure could. Something like that. Isn't that just adorable? And then you can write your note on the back of the card, which would then be the bottom of the card. So it'll still be a private note if you want to. And if you wanted to put flowers, more, more flowers or more petals or more leaves or whatever, you could do that too. So I'm going to take another flower, or another rainbow, or butterfly, good grief, and put that on this card as well. So again, I'm just taking off the little pop dot, because I don't want that. And then I will glue this puppy onto the pot itself. Well, it doesn't want to come off me. It wants to stay on me. There we go. So there's that one. Aren't they cute? Oh, I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you guys try it. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with because it's adorable. You could do a lot of different things. You could put, um, I don't know, something else in the pot or you could make it maybe a tunnel and put people coming out of it or I don't know whatever you wanted a skateboarder that's kind of what I was thinking when I said the people super cute and pretty easy so yay thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye